Hello everyone, welcome back to Subnautica. Last episode we explored some sea bases that were on land. We had a new message. Aurora, it's Sunday. We've made orbit and the Ooh, scans okay. have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. We're on a countdown. We're on a timer. It's kind of hoping it wasn't that, but... Well, let's go... Let's go see if we can find a diamond. Um... Okay, so... Oh, look at that floater up just in there. Oh, shh. So where I think there might be diamonds happens to be the exact opposite of where the sunbeam is going to come visit us. So hopefully... We'll make it back in time. I think we'll be fine. The reason we want diamonds is because they are required to make laser cutter which we will need to cut through some doors on Rex like I think we saw one last video whoopsies not mean to hit that button um, we'll also need them to cut through some doors on the Aurora we haven't been here yet what do we got here Oh, what did it say? I, I didn't see what it said. Shoot. You gotta kind of... It's changed a little bit, so now you actually got to... Um, kind of see it before you grab them. Which I did not do. Actually, it might even tell us. What is this? What is, oh. Oh, maybe I should... Holy crap, I should have thoroughly checked the other life pod more. That had a bunch of stuff in it. Okay, alright. Where's my... Uh, here we go. Let's see if it'll tell us in our blueprints. What the heck was that? What is going on? Is there like a f fish crashing into us or something? What's that all about? Let's go back to the surface so we can kind of use it as a navigational tool because we want to go towards the aurora. What's left of it? It's kind of, I mean, it's not, it's mainly intact. I know the front's kind of blown off, but, you know, how big that ship was and what happened to it and how it crashed, you can actually kind of, uh, didn't get completely destroyed. Did we explore this one yet? Oops, don't crash into it. Let's just take a quick peek inside, see if there's any more treasure that we might have missed. Okay, looks like we got that one. Is there great stuff going on? Okay. I believe there's also a lot of patterns down here. So, pulse cannon fragment, or propulsion cannon, sorry. Ooh, hello, Mr. Infected Grossfish. So... I see it right down there. That's why I make sure we're going the right way. Okay, we got more... We want <laughs> really to... We want to head kind of this way. So I'm going to point the way we kind of want to go. Did you see that thing just sink in the sand? What was that? Power transmitter. I already have. I guess we'll just get free titanium. We're going to need it now that we can build those multi-purpose rooms. We're going to have a lot of those, which require a good amount of titanium. So I think it's like six each or something. 
Now this I don't think is actually diamond yet. I think this is Yeah, this is quartz. I'm not gonna pick that up quite yet. Oh Uh, there's actually some dangerous creatures nearby, I think. I mean, also gotta watch our depth. Actually, was it? No, it wasn't on the Aurora. I think it was actually where we're supposed to go meet the Sunbeam. I think it was. Okay, so yeah, I went the super wrong way. Whoops. Alright, how far are we from it? Um, let's just go for it. It's going to be kind of scary here. Oh, mushrooms. I think there's some fragments maybe down here we could scan. Aha! Cyclops bridge fragment. That is the big sub. That... Oops. I'm not going to bother... Oops, we're getting too deep. Okay. This is still kind of really laggy, and usually you take performance hits when you go into... Oh, here we go. Um, so that's the last bridge fragment we need. Because um, these mushrooms kind of just pop in and out of existence. So I kind of want to get out of here before it's too late. I see how they kind of... Yeah, I mean, this, again, this game is really access, so... They still got a little ways to go. I think they got one more big content patch they want to do. And then they want to do... Performance upgrade, you know, updates, get, get it performing a lot better, you know, less of this stuff happening. And then they want to, you know, just polish everything and make it nice. So less texture pop-ins, less seams. You'll see, you know, like, big cracks in the land where it's kind of sun to get. Like right there. I don't know if you kind of see that kind of where the mouse is. It kind of fixed in, but... They want to fix stuff like that, so... But that's probably a few months away at the time of this recording. So there's a while. So here's an island. And that... Spoiler alert... Weird looking thing up there is a massive gun. And I believe that is what shot down our space boat. Hello, what's. I'm supposed to look for diamonds. But we're gonna. Maybe grab a few other things here, quick. Gold is much more valuable now. I actually don't need that right now. Oh, what is this? Oh, crap! Okay. You see that guy right there? Um, that's bad. We don't want to mess with him. Um, he will absolutely destroy the uh, sea moth. So we really got to keep an eye on him. Another engine fragment. Okay, we got to be careful because I know he's around. We're actually pretty close to getting the Cyclops completed, aren't we? What are we doing? Oh, is it really just two more hull and we got it? Oh, crap. There he is. Super nasty. I thought I saw a basalt. Oh crap, I don't really want to be here at the moment. I know that guy's going to be trouble. Oh, there's a warper. They're pretty fun. 
Because I think the... It's a lot of creepy stuff, isn't it? Diamonds might actually be on land. I know it's that one of the two. I think it's this one where they're... But I, th uh, I don't think... I'm doubting myself now. I don't know where anything is anymore. Diamond! Hey! That's what we wanted. So yeah, I was here. I was right the second time. Let's just grab some stuff real quick while we're here. Also, since the last time uh, I uploaded, things have changed a little bit. Um, you now use a lot of gold for stuff instead of silver. Also, for computer chips, you now use... I'm going to leave that there so we know where to go back. So we have time. We can go back to the home base. Um, so some crafting stuff has changed a little bit. So Silver was always really tough to get. It was kind of really scarce. Now, it's probably about the same, but you don't... I mean, you still use it for a few things here and there, but not nearly as much as you used to. So, and gold was kind of more abundant, but yeah, I think you only use it for like power transmitters or something, which I didn't really use those that much. So it actually kind of works out nice. So gold actually has, is useful now actually, so. I think it worked out pretty well. Of course, it's still early access. It could always change tomorrow, you know, so. But as of right now, it's pretty good. Yeah, we still got plenty of time, so we'll be able to get back home. We'll be able to. Do we do this one? That's a sea moth fragment. No, we did not. Okay. Let's just double check. Yep. That, oh, sea glide. Sorry, I meant sea glide. I. I'll, uh, I don't know if I do this on Twitch a lot, and if you ever watch it, you'll notice I always get the Sea Glide and the Sea Moth. High capacity tank. Sweet, I do want that. Um, you'll notice that I always mix up those names. Like, I, kn I know they're. I yeah, I, for some reason, they just always. always confuse me for some reason, or makes me switch them around. So, if I say one and it doesn't make any sense, I probably mean the other. Like, obviously, you can't get in the sea glide like you can the sea moss. If I say, let's get in the old sea glide, obviously, I'm being silly and not doing it right. All right, let's park our little boat here. Welcome. Hop in our really crappy base. Inventory secured. Perfect. All right, um, that's good, that reinforced suit. What we want is tools, I believe. Laser, oh, we can just straight up make it. Perfect. I didn't know we had all the, oh, sweet. That's actually a nice surprise. I thought we were gonna have to uh, do some other stuff, but no, we have everything we need. So yeah, right now our base is really stupid and terrible. It's just a squished oval. Um, it's kind of like a miniature track and field. Or, you know, like those, um, like at high schools and college and stuff, those tracks they run around in circles and whoever runs the fastest wins is kind of what that's like. Very ugly and stupid and terrible and I don't like it. Although I do like the glass, um, corner pieces there I do like that so I think we'll keep something like that uh, I'm thinking once we learn the moon pools which will let us store things like the prawn suit and the um, sea moth those will be kind of in the deeper spots so they have room to get in and out I mean, we could do something towards the shallow end, too. I mean, we could have it be, you know, at multiple depths. It doesn't all have to be, you know, kind of just flat. We can have stuff go up, stuff go down. So we have a lot of room to play with. That, that's kind of why I like this spot so much was because 
you know, we can go really either up or down, we can go back or forth, left or right, north or south, east or west. Lots of room. We just gotta figure out kind of what we want to do. But I think we'll take a little break here. Um, one of the first things we'll do though is we will build a multi-purpose room to get those melons growing. Because we gotta get that. So I think, like I said, we'll take a little break. So next episode we'll maybe start on that while we wait for the sunbeam to arrive. So, as always, I just want to say thank you for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I do hope I get to see you next time.